it's time for another one of my Shauna Shortcuts. In this video, I'm going to present a one-on-one -on -one tutoring session that covers Algebra 1 factoring. Here we go. So it's x squared minus x minus 56. So we're going to pretend there's a 1 here. We're still going to do our headphones, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and this right here is negative 1, right? So you've got to multiply to negative 56, and it's got to equal negative 1 when I multiply it, right? Mm -hmm. So 56 is pretty easy, right? That's 8 times 7. Yeah. Feel me? So let's just go with 8 times 7. So now I've got to get this to equal negative 1. Any thoughts? A 56 times 1. We're going to use the 8 and the 7 because these two multiplied together equals 56. Mm -hmm. So how would I get the 8 and the 7 to equal negative 1? Are you good at that or not so much? Oh, subtract the 8 and the 7. Right? But if I do 8 minus 7, what do I get? Oh, positive 1. Right? So I need to do negative 8 plus 7. Feel me? Yeah. Now, this one's a little easier than the last one because I'm guessing you're supposed to have a 1x here and a 1x here because 1x times 1x is 1x squared. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have a negative 8 and positive 7, right? I think that's yeah. what you're supposed to put in there. Again, I'm not 100% on this, okay? I feel mm -hmm. pretty good that this is what they want for this. But I don't know if that's what they want for this. So then I'm just going to do my little sideways headphones. I'll put my X here, my X here. And in this case, I can put the plus 7 here or the minus 8 here. It doesn't matter. Alright. And that's your answer. Alright. You got it? Mm -hmm. So, let me see. Let's do number 4 now. So, here, I'll write number four down, and then you give it a try. All right. What's your thought? You go. Nope. No. No. So the first thing you want to do is put the 1 in front of the X and then make your headphones. Oh, yeah. No, headphones go around the numbers only, not the letters. Forget the letters are just extra as far as we're concerned. Oh. Make sure that you get this negative 90. You got to also circle in that negative number 2 if you can. Okay, so where does that negative 90 go? Right here. Right here? No. Nope, it goes here. And your 1 will go here. Right on. So obviously since I need a 1, I need two numbers that are right next to each other. That will equal 90. What numbers are those? 45. Nope, I've got to take something times something, so I'm going to need two numbers. Something times something. 45 times 2. If I do 45 times 2, am I going to be able to add those two together to get 1? No. No, so you need two numbers that are super close to each other. That's going to give you 90. Negative 90 and 1? If I take negative 90 plus 1, I'll get negative 89, so that's not going to work. So remember when we had negative 56 and 1, and we chose mm -hmm. 7 and 8? Because mm -hmm. Th they were real close together, right? And we needed to get 1. So what two numbers, if I take one number times another number that are real close to each other, that are going to give me 90? I'm not sure. Okay, so um, what's 90 divided by 10? 9. Right, and 9 and 10 are pretty close to each other, right? Mm -hmm. So let's put 9 and 10 in this box.
Okay, now if I do 9 plus 10, that's going to give me 19, right? So how do I make the 9 and the 10 give me positive 1 when I add them together? Negative, no, wait. Negative 9 plus 10? Yes, spectacular. And now you've got 1, right? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and put equals 1, and put a nice little check mark because you're happy with it. All right, so again, I'm not sure where they want everything, but let's just say, how do I get, so in this spot right here, in this spot right here, what times what is going to give me 1? It would just be 1 times 1, right? Yeah. So then we're going to say 1x times 1x here, right? Mm-hmm. And then we'll put your negative 9 here and your 10 here. Cool? Mm hmm Okay, now what's next? Do you remember? Uh, this. Yes. What's after that? Do you go... Yep. Wait. Yeah. Yep. Now there's just two ones. Nope, now that's where these numbers are going to start coming in. Your negative 9 and your 10. That's it, my friend. Let's go to number 5, which is x squared minus 6x minus 27. A little harder, but ain't no thing but a chicken wing. All right, what's your first step? Yeah, I forgot to draw that. <laughs> and then, oh wait. You got it backwards again. And there's no one. Your 27 goes here in this first one. Negative 27, I mean. Okay, then we got to put our square head, see? It's like a guy mm -hmm. listening to headphones. So negative 6 goes here? Yep. Okay, now we got to figure out what times what's going to give me 27. I'm going to give you a cheat. When I look at 27, I factor it all the way out. And so 27 would give me 9 times 3, which is also 3 times 3, oh, yeah. right? So 3 times 3 times 3 would give me 27. Mm -hmm. I need to play around with these numbers then. So Because eventually you're going to get more difficult numbers, and it's easier if you factor it all out. So I think this is an easier way to do it. So if I look at these three threes, I can go 3 times 3 is 9 and 3. See, so 9 times 3 equals 27? Mm-hmm. So I'll put the 9 and the 3 here. Now, how do I get negative 6? Can I get negative 6 from 9 and 3? Do 3 minus 9. Yes! Spectacular. Or negative 9 plus 3, right? Because I already wrote it down. Oh, yeah. So that works, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so put it in your, your thing. It's negative 6 right here? Why is it that color? No, you're not going to use the negative 6. You're going to use these numbers only. Go here and here. Uh, negative 9 and the 3. Yeah. Right? And then here and here is whatever will get me 1. What times what? 1. Right? So just x times x, right? Right? Now then what do you do? Right on, friend. You got it. How about you run with number six all by your lonesome? I'll just write it down for you. All right. Get after it. Nice. 
Hmm? What are you forgetting? Yeah. Right on. Try to do from here. So what times what is going to give you 64? 8 times 8. All right, write it down. And can that those two 8s come together to make 16 when you add them? Yeah. Awesome. All right, so do you remember what goes where? Or at least what we think goes where? And then... Yep. Right on. Great. Easy peasy. Now here's the thing. When you have x plus 8 times x plus 8, when it's doubles like that, a lot of times your teacher is going to want you to put them together like that. All right. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's do, let's take it up a notch and look at number three. 2x squared plus 6x minus 8. All right. So your challenge is you have a 2 in front, which is fine in some instances, but here it doesn't work out well because all of these are divisible by 2. You see that? Yeah. So I'm going to take, I'm going to factor out a 2. So I'm going to take this 2, and I'm basically going to divide everything by 2 now. So this mm -hmm. becomes x squared plus, what, do you, what is 6x divided by 2? 3. Yep, so I'll have 3x, and this becomes minus 4, four. right? Mm-hmm. So I'll just write this a little nicer. Oops, there's no two there. My bad. So when you do your final answer, it'll look like that with the two outside. All right. So you let me erase this. All right, so go ahead and just do your stuff. Oh, what goes in that box? You forget you, you forget the same thing all the time. <laughs> Don't put the X in there, just the number three. No. Okay. Oh yeah. So then it's a negative two times two. Okay, well, what if we did negative 2 times negative 2 and we added those together? What do we get? Do we get 3? Uh, no. No, so that's not it. So what four times 3? Go ahead. And a 1. 4, four and a one. 1. So put that in there. Okay, we know we need one of those has to be negative, right? Because we have to have negative 4. And we got to equal 3. So you have negative 4 plus 1, right? Is that going to give us positive 3? No, no. No. There it is. It's very nice. Yep. And then do I draw that in this one? Yeah. Just how you were doing it before, you just have to make sure to keep that 2 out there because we factored out the 2. There you go. Any other problems? Uh, no.